Hey there, it's Robin again with another tutorial. If you remember in the last tutorial, what we had done was we made we made these cells explode um, by scaling it on the 3D cursor like this. Um, so the questions I didn't answer, which need to be answered, we'll address in this video. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to hide this camera and this light on another layer. So I'll hit select those two, hit M, and move those to a different layer. And that corresponds to this grid here. So we'll get those down there out of our way. So what I didn't realize was um, ages ago I had sent this file to my friend and I had already separated all the geometry. Um, but he wants to know how to do it on a much bigger project. So, again, we'll go through that now. Um, what we have to do is get back to that point. So, I figured I'll show you also how to join this geometry up. So, what we've got right now is individual cells with individual centers. That's the center point there. Um, so, we'll just select A. And then we also have to select a parent object. So, hit Shift. Just click on one of them. It's a right click. And it doesn't matter which one we do, we just we want a parent object. So once you've got them all selected and your parent objects assigned, hit Control J, uh, I believe. Yep, and that joins the geometry into one mesh. So I can no longer go in and grab one cell and move it because the vertexes are very close together. However, they are separate, and that, that's fundamental to making this work, is that none of these cells should share vertex points. They all need to have unique defining edges. Um, I mean, the vertices can be right on top of each other, you know, such as something like that, but they do need to have their own vertices. So, vertices. So, that said, moving on, what we'll do, we've got our unified mesh here. We'll select everything. And this is how the model came back to me from the lab um, after it was scanned, which is fine. So once we select all, we'll hit P, and that'll bring up the separate menu here. And then we'll separate by loose parts. You can also separate by selection or material, which is handy if you could assign everything a unique material. You could separate it that way too. We're going to hit P, and we'll separate by loose parts, and it'll take a while. And the bigger the mesh, the more vertices, the longer this will take. I'm at about 48,000 there, um, so just keep that in mind. It'll exponentially take longer. I think the most I've done it with is about a million, and it, it took about 20 minutes. So anyway, we'll tab out of object mode, we're in edit mode here. So, and then what we'll do is we'll just grab one of these and there we go, he's free. But you'll notice that the center point is where the parent was and that's the same for all these cells. The center point is here. We don't want that because we're going to explode this. Um, we want them all to have their own center points. So what we'll do, select them all. We'll just go down to object, go to transform, and move origin to geometry is what we want. You could also do it to 3D center, or 3D cursor rather. And that's where we draw our scale from in the next video. Um, and there's other options. Feel free to play with them. But what we want for this application is origin to geometry. And that'll put the origin to each object's geometrical center point. So grab that. Grab that, and you'll see they all have their centers so that we can do that transform that we're going to do in the next video, which looks something like this. Hope that helps. Have a good morning, afternoon.